Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. Hi, I'm Tina. I'm Jenna. And we're from Mercer, and we're busy calving. Amber, Amber plan, plan my day. day. Well, good morning to Tina and Jenna. I believe I got those names right there. I love that uh, that video outside doing some calving. Your temperatures in Mercer right now. Well, there, there's some of the cooler ones that we have in the state. A lot of us are in the 30s and the 40s in Mercer. Well, you're at 32 degrees, a south wind about six miles per hour. Those winds are going to increase today for you. A little breezy this afternoon. Here's your forecast for Mercer. We've got temperatures back into the 70s today and we've got some sunshine. We'll have a little cloud cover early on. Those clouds will be high. They'll still allow for some filtered sunshine, but again, remember the wind speeds are going to increase a bit this afternoon. Kind of a gusty afternoon gusts up to 25 with the passing of a warm front. So thank you for that video. And remember, if you want to see your video and get a personalized forecast on Good Day Dakota, send them to me, send them to the station, tell me your name, where you're from, and simply tell me to plan your day and we'll feature it here on Good Day Dakota. Check out the downtown Bismarck Skycam. Gorgeous start to the day. Lots of golden colors there. And we have a low cloud cover. Again, we've got some high thin clouds here, so they're not going to hold back too much on that sun. Uh, so we're seeing this kind of continue to push across the state today, and the warmth continues. 30s here for central North Dakota, 40s off towards the west this morning, and the wind speeds, uh, like I was saying for Mercer, will pick up for all of us. Out of the south here around 5 to 10, but this afternoon we're going to see wind speeds uh, that'll pick up 10 to 20 sustained gusting to 25 and 30. So kind of a gusty afternoon all because of this warm front that's going to move through and we've got some sunshine to go along with this. This is the culprit behind the 70s as well. Of course, we've got 2 p.m. this afternoon that warm front draping across much of central North Dakota and the trailing cold front bringing a chance for some isolated showers, maybe a thunderstorm or two tonight and into tomorrow. And you can see here we'll head into tomorrow with chances for just some very scattered, if not isolated rain. I would not cancel your plans if you see a rain shower or two that moves through tomorrow. It should move through quickly, but you always want to keep in mind that some of these could have maybe a little bit of lightning, uh, maybe a rumble of thunder. It would be quick. Again, heading into Sunday, uh, kind of pushing that cloud cover to the south. Better chance for sun in the north than into Bismarck and keeping the rain chances mostly at this point confined to the I-94 corridor, although I am keeping a slight chance that they could lift a bit into the uh, Bismarck area. Temperatures for to uh, your Easter Sunday looking not so bad, averaging around 60 degrees with a partly cloudy sky. Here's the Dickinson three day forecast. We are back in the 70s today with the 60s tomorrow and around 60 there on Sunday. Here's your Williston three day forecast. Uh, looking good, 60s and 70s with today being the warmest day. And in fact, the Northwest will be some of the warmer temperatures that we've got in the state. The coolest, still very warm, mid to upper 60s there in the Southeast, but mostly widespread 70s for today. My not here's your seven day forecast. We've got a lot of 60s on this map and not a lot of chances for rain. So when you increase the wind speeds, here's the Bismarck seven day. You know, that's really going to kind of ramp up our fire weather concerns. These 60s, 70s, warm temperatures, full sunshine. So you might be hearing more red flag warnings in the coming days. In fact, we do have one right now for eastern Montana with all this dry vegetation, all the snow melt that's gone. We have all this dry grass that is kind of fuel for potential fire. It's the flip in the season and something to be aware of. Yes. Lots of burn bans already. All right, thank you, Amber. And uh, this weekend should be really very yeah. nice. And I plan to get outside and uh, help the kids, you know, search for some eggs from the Easter Bunny. And not in any snow this year. And no snow, so yeah. you don't have to worry about the mittens and the eggs slipping out of the <laughs> hands. But that takes us to today's question of the day. You can find that on Facebook at KX News and KX News.